Our product is designed to be taken orally, so you can just swallow it. So what we've done is we've emptied a capsule into the water and we've waited about 15 minutes. So what I was wondering is could you explain using the H2 blue to show that there's molecular hydrogen in the water? Sure, so the H2 blue is basically a redox reagent that measures the antioxidants, if you will, in the water, in this case hydrogen gas. So when it's blue, it's oxidized, and when it's reduced, or the antioxidant has given its electrons to, to the blue, it turns clear. So we can first test this with, with just bottled water. Okay. There's no antioxidant, no hydrogen gas in this, and you'll see what happens. If you want to yeah. add just a little bit of water, about six milliliters or so, to there. And what I will do is I'll add one drop of the re H2 blue reagent to this beaker, and we add it, it should... It'll go, go. it'll go blue and, and stay blue. So it should stay blue. Correct, because there's no, there's no antioxidants in there. Okay. That's pretty so blue. So see how it's very blue, right? Now, this is also can work to actually measure the concentration of hydrogen gas in the water. In fact, point, uh, one, one drop is equivalent to 0 0.1 ppm, so 10 drops of H2 blue, and it's still going clear, would, equal, would be equivalent to 1 ppm, okay. or about a milligram per liter. So what we'll do is we'll... We'll take your product here, and again we'll add about 6 milliliters so that it works out stoichiometrically, so one drop is equal to 0.1 ppm. Let's pour a little bit in there, get about 6 milliliters. Now we'll go ahead, we know it's fairly high, so I'm going to go ahead and just add 10 drops immediately, that way the gas doesn't dissipate out as quickly. So and that would be 1 ppm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 10 drops. We'll just shake it a little bit there. See, so it goes clear. Well, that's, right away. well, that's six more because that would be basically saturation according to SATP, right. the standard amb ambient temperature and pressure. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 16 drops. And we'll go ahead and shake, shake that. Oh, See, that there turns go, very yeah. clear. So if you compare the two, that's blue, one drop, no antioxidant, no hydrogen gas. This one here. At least, at least has 1.6 ppm. And would that be considered a therapeutic dose? Yeah, uh, when, you, when you can look at the studies, the t animal studies and human studies, the average is around 0.5 to 1.6 ppm. And again, showing marked therapeutic effects. And in fact, your product likely has much more than that because of uh, you know, the magnesium you add, you can actually calculate how many molecules of hydrogen gas be produced. And anyways, yes, it's certainly a therapeutic dose when you compare that to the literature and what the research is showing. Okay, well thank you.